Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. So let's get it on like Donkey Kong, long and strong to the break of dawn. How are you? Hello? Hello, hello? Hello, hello. Me escuchan. Probando, probando. Uno, dos, tres. Estás allí. Estás allí. Me escuchas? Yes, you can. Hey, Diana. Hello. How are you today? Como estas? Very good, teacher. Excellent. Hi, teacher. Excellent. I like that. I like that. All right. Welcome back, guys. Are you ready for your class? Yes. Okay. Hi, Susie. How are you? Hi, Susie. How are you? Hi. Welcome. Welcome to your class. Are you ready? Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So yesterday, who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class. What can you tell me? Do you remember the activities from yesterday's class? We looked at this one right here, simple present versus the simple past. Do you remember? Hello? Hello, hello. Hello, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, what activities do you remember from yesterday's class? Very good, Susie. Correct. The difference between the present perfect and the simple past. Uh, Luis, what activity do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, un ejemplo. Eh, ¿Cuáles actividades se acuerda de la clase de ayer? What activities do you remember from yesterday's class? Eh, eh, hicimos cinco ejemplos de present simple y, y, y simple perfect. perfect. Very good. Correct. Simple past versus present perfect. Excellent, Luis. Luis, select somebody. Uh, Diana. Diana. Hágale la misma pregunta a Diana. Ahí está en el chat la pregunta. Oh, perdón. What activities do you remember from yesterday class? Excellent, Luis. Teacher, you know, in a class the year. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Diana, select somebody. Um, <clears throat> Ailey Michelle. Ailey Michelle. Hágale la pregunta a Ailey Michelle. Okay. What activity do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh, el aprender a usar y saber el presente perfecto y el pasado simple. Correct. That is correct. Very good. Does anybody have any questions um, related to yesterday's class? Question, somebody. Uh, 
no. Okay. No okay. Thank you, Luis. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to be looking at the following activity. Uh, yesterday, we looked at knowledge check. Sorry, guys. All right, 5.9, instructions. Complete, complete the conversations. Use the present perfect and the simple past of the verb given. Ya estado mocoso todo el día, pero acabo de hacer una rutina de respeto. Eso me va a ayudar. Okay. Um, have, so number one, have you ever sung, repeat, have you ever sung? Have you ever sung? Have you ever sung? In a karaoke bar. In, in, in a karaoke, a karaoke bar. bar. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I, have. I have. I sang one on my birthday. I sang one on my birthday. One on my birthday. Have you ever lost something valuable? Have, have you, you ever, ever lost, lost something, something valuable? Valuable? Valuable. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't. My but my brother lost his yeah. camera on a trip once. But my brother lost no. his was my brother on a trip once. My brother <laughs> once. lost his camera. Once. 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 Es que siempre escucho que dicen ons. Ons. Ajá, <laughs> once. porque comes con o, ¿verdad? Ons. <clears throat> Pero no, este, esta palabra es origen alemán. Wa. Wa. Once. 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 Ajá, no once. tiene lógica eh, la escritura porque es una W, ¿verdad? Wa. Wa. Like, what is your name? What do you want? Once. Once. Repeat. Once. 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 Okay. Once. All right. Number five. Have you ever? Got it. Repeat. Uh, Have you ever? Have you, Have you ever, ever? Gotten a traffic ticket. Gotten a, got a traffic, traffic ticket. ticket. Hay gente que dice gotten y está bien. Hay gente que dice gotten y está bien. So, como tú te sientas más cómodo, gotten. Yo digo gotten. Gotten. A traffic ticket. A traffic a ticket. Traffic ticket. Eh, a mí me gusta pronunciar muy bien porque eh, todo el día paso hablando con gringos. Eh, mi mercado es Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Boca Raton. O sea, todo lo que es la costa de Florida, los condominiums. Eh, las mansiones que hay allí, todo eso, esa es mi clientela. So, no te voy a decir que todos hablan bien eh, sofisticado. Hay gente allí que ni bachiller tiene y, y hablan como que si son de 18 años, pero son millonarios. Right? So, vas a encontrar de diferentes eh, tipos de personas. So, tú tienes que aprender. Eh, yo pienso así. Prefiero que diga qué profesional ese muchacho y que escuche esa pronunciación a que diga hey, ¿quién me llamó? Who is that? Right? <laughs> Ajá. Aunque sea una persona que no sea muy educada, siempre te van a ver como like, ah, oh, ok, él sí sabe lo que está hablando. Ok. Yes, I have. Yes, yes I have. I have. Once. Once. I got a ticket. I got, I got, I got a, a ticket. ticket. And had to pay fifty dollars. And I had to pay fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Have you ever been? Have you ever seen a live concert? 
Have you ever seen a live concert? Have you ever seen a live concert? No, live, no, live. 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 Vaya, les voy a enseñar las tres pronunciaciones de esta palabra. Está live, está live y está alive. alive. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Live es el verbo. I live in Escalón. Hey, el, el partido está en vivo. The game is live on channel four. Eh, y está la otra que es alive. Por ejemplo, tú dices, eh, gracias a Dios que estoy vivo. Thank God that I am alive. Repeat, I live in Escalón. I live in Escalón. The game is live on Channel 4. The game, the game is, is live, live on Channel 4. Thank God I am alive. Thank God. Thanks God. Yeah, I am alive. Alive. I am alive. Alive. I am alive. 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 I said you I said you last year. Stadium. 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 Have Stadium. you ever been late for an important appointment? Have you ever been for an important apartment? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. By, by my sister was 30 minutes late. I said, yeah, but. Uh, repeat after me. But my sister. But my, my, my sister, sister was 30 minutes late for her wedding. No, wedding, no, wedding, 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 wedding. Okay, eh, deme un minuto. Eh, voy a tomarle captura de pantalla a esta actividad. But my sister, esta es 5.9. Okay, se la voy a mandar al departamento de tech para que cambien esa y all right <clears throat> any questions at this moment any no question. questions at this moment any questions at this moment somebody no question teacher no question Okay, now what I want you to do is we're going to look at the following activity. So for the following activity, we are going to move forward and look at, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained throughout an audio. Note the expression. Esto lo vimos ayer y lo vamos a repasar. The use of for and since will be explained Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time for six years for a week, for a month, for hours, for two hours. 
I have worked here for <clears throat> five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. All right. So yesterday, in yesterday's class, everybody was supposed to write at least um, four or five examples in the discussion forum. Did everybody finish? Todos terminaron esa actividad en la discussion forum ayer? Aquí? No, no me acuerdo. No me acuerdo haberlo visto ayer. Ah, ok. Eh, lo vimos brevemente. Ok, so uh, en este caso vamos a escribir por lo menos cinco oraciones. Digamos tres con for y dos con since. Eh, for example, eh, I'm working in Arguardiente Unidas since 2014. Aquí le pasó, le, le faltó el I have. I have been working. Acuérdese que con el present perfect continuous, years. Eh, necesitamos With usar el auxiliar been. Si nota aquí, todos están auxiliar has o have y el verbo en past participle. Eh, been es el past participle del verbo to be. So no les recomiendo que usen el ing porque no lo hemos visto todavía. Solamente el auxiliar have o has y el verbo en past participle, y la preposición for y el tiempo. We're gonna, vamos a, les voy a dar cinco minutos que trabajen juntos, y después lo vamos a ver en grupo. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Any questions? Any questions? Cinco, cinco y cinco sería. No, 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 no. Five total. Okay. Five total. Pueden ser tres con since y dos con four, o dos con, tres con four y dos con since, o como usted lo quiera distribuir. Okay. Ready? Ready. All right. Let's do it. ¿Qué va a hacer si tiene preguntas? ¿Qué va a hacer si tiene preguntas? ¿Qué va a hacer si tiene preguntas? Ask the teacher.
All right, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. More time? Okay. More time. Okay. <clears throat> uh, sorry, guys. I know everybody's not finished. So um, I'm going to give you more time. Is that okay? Do you need more time? Do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. more time, more time. That's okay, more time. Let's go.
Hola, Fabiola. Hola. ¿Cómo va? Um, ya ahorita solo tengo unas, que ver, una, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro tengo ahorita, uh -huh. me faltaba una, pero no, ya no sé qué más ponerle. Yo tengo una acá. A ver, uh -huh. no sé si está bien. Uh -huh. Y si lo sigue, ¿qué pasaría? Vamos a ver. We have a going to the beat. We have a going. We have a going. Y es we have. We have a going. We have a going to the beach. Going to the beach. The beach sees. Uh -huh. Two. 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 No le entiendo. Two. Mm. ¿Me escuchas? Hola, ese. No, no, un poquito cortado. Ok, le escribo, le escribo al chat porque está lloviendo súper mm. fuerte. Ah, ¿en serio? Vale, sí. Ahorita. Ay, aquí no. Uh -huh. <ríe> sí, entonces escribo el chat. A ver, permítame. Vaya, pero eh, no sale uh -huh. el chat compartido. No sale para todos. No, sí. No. Ah, ok. Vaya. Escriba. ¿Qué tenés? Uh -huh. Va. Ok. We haven't. Uh -huh. Subiré. Es que no me va a escuchar bien, bueno. por eso. Está lloviendo fuerte. Ok. Es we haven't gone, me dijo, ¿verdad? We haven't mm -hmm. gone. Sí, no he ido a la playa. Are you finished or do you need more time? Finish. All right. See ya. All right, let's check it out. Okay, uh, I would like to hear volunteers. Let me hear your examples. Let me have one volunteer. I want to hear your example. Uh, me, teacher. Fabiola, excellent. Um, for example, I have been sick since Monday. Since Monday, uh-huh. Sick Monday. Oh. Excellent, oh. Fabiola. Select somebody, Fabiola. I have been sick since Monday. Excellent, Fabiola. Select okay. somebody. Um, give me one second. Um, Dina Contreras? Dina Contreras. No. I... We have worked in platform for five days. We have been working on the platform for five days or I have worked on the platform for five days in the past participle. Very good. Okay, okay. now what we are going to do is look at the following activity. For the following activity, I would like for everybody to please look at the next section. The next section is 5.12, knowledge check. Instructions, read the following sentences and choose between four and six since depending on the context. Instrucciones. Lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja entre for, por y since desde dependiendo del contexto de la oración. ¿Cómo se escucha mi español? Bien. Excelente. Wow. He estado leyendo en español. Very nice. He estado leyendo en español. To practice to amplify, y no leo en voz baja, alta. leo en voz alta. ¿Quieren ver? ¿Quieren ver? Yes. Mm 
Okay, this is uh, men's health. Classes hoy a las ocho. Men's health magazine en español. Y eh, estoy leyendo un artículo que se llama Músculo. Eh, dice: Los ejercicios que todo atleta debería hacer. El peso muerto no solo es para aquellos deportistas de poder, porque es un ejercicio en el que trabajas todo el cuerpo y te proporciona fortaleza. Guys, este ejercicio es tri duro. Yo lo hice ahora. It's okay. difficult. Yeah. Para, Pero para mañana. La eh, este es para. Yo sentí para las la piernas. Sí, ahora me tocó espalda. Pero yo realmente cuando hice este ejercicio, no sentí espalda, en sen sentí piernas, la verdad. Mm, no, pero, pero depende cómo, la, cómo lo hagas. Ah, este es que dice... hay, uno, hay, uno, hay uno que es peso muerto, pero Ajá. no doblas las rodillas. Ajá, este sí, este se llama sumo. Ajá. De sumo. Es un, así se llama sumo, pero no es un sí, sumo. Sí, sí. Abre las piernas ahí. Abre las piernas. Ajá, ahí está. ¿Puede ver Ajá. la foto? No. Eh, no, sobre la playa. Sobre la playa. <ríe> <ríe> bueno, se abren las piernas bien Maybe. abiertas y no doblas la espalda. Solo bajas con las piernas y my God. Yo solo lo hice sí. con ¿qué? 70. Sumo es para sumo si sí es para piernas. Ay, yeah. ay. Y así que tengo que quitarle discos a esta porque me costó. Pero anyway, esto es lo que yo hago para practicar mi español. Y también eh, estoy leyendo una novela en español. <risa> <risa> Sorry, soy novelero. <risa> ok, let's continue. So, ustedes pueden hacer lo mismo. Solo que en inglés. Okay. Right. Ustedes lo tienen que hacer en inglés. Yo lo hago en español porque el español no es mi fuerte. Ustedes lo hacen en inglés porque en inglés no es su fuerte. ¿Ok? Ok. All right. Okay. Yes, yes. You gotta, o sea, a mí me cuesta estar leyendo eso. Lo tengo que leer como tres veces. Pero cuando ya lo entiendo, oh, easy money. Ok. All right, instructions. Read the following sentences and choose between four and since, depending on context. Instrucciones. Lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja entre for, por y since desde, dependiendo del contexto de la oración. Pam was in Central America. Mm? A month last year. ¿Cuál fuera la correcta? For, for, for a month last year. Correct. For huh. a month last year is correct. Ding, ding, ding. Any questions? No questions. No. Okay. I would like for you to work in pairs and complete this activity. Vamos a cambiar parejas. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. Hi. Sorry, I don't pay attention. They did. Tiene que dijo teacher. Ya esto es de no ver si. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola, sorry. ¿Qué dijo el profe? 
Había que hacer el knowledge check 5.12. Ah, ya, aquí está. Ya lo tengo. ¿Ya lo tiene? Sí. Practice. Yes. Number one. Pam uh, was in Central America for a month, like years. I, I've been a college student for almost four years. Um, three, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Just, um, sorry, um, just live in Venezuela um, for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation, vacation since Monday. And Natalie was in, sorry, what is pronunciation in Janjen? In Janjen. Natalie was in Janjen to Danny. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? No escucho, ¿qué es? <laughs> no, no, bueno. Ayuda. And Natalie was in Jan, I don't know, um, was in Janjan to Danny um, for six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Okay, and uh, we have been in class signed on 5.30 p.m. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Okay, you number one, repeat. Pam was in Central America for a month last year. Okay, and I have been a college mm -hmm. student for almost four years. Hiroshi has been at work since 6, six o'clock a.m. I haven't gone to a party uh, for a long time. Josh living in Venezuela for two years as kill. Okay. As a kill. In six, uh, my parents had been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was in Gabriel to Danny for six months. No. Okay. Pat and Valeria had been best friends since high school. We have been o sea, in class since 5 p.m. The babies have cried for three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Oh, yeah.
Pero a Christy is in her. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time. Finish. All right, more time. You got. Yeah, I know somebody finished. said finished, but some people are not finished. So, well, the people that are not finished, that's your homework because we have to continue. If you did not finish, that will be your homework. All right. Let's look at number two. Right. Number two. Luis, number two. I've been. Perdón, no veo. <laughs> no veo. Right here, right here. Uh, you know, she has been. I've been. Uh, for, a, for. Uh, number two, number two. I've been. Uh, two. I've been a college to student. For year four. Four. <clears throat> Almost four years, correct. Excellent, Five, Luis. Select somebody, Luis. Select somebody. Adriana. 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 Hello, Adriana. Hello, hello. Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what happened? What is she doing? Where is she? <laughs> Okay, number es three. De la tres. Yes. Hiroshi has been at work since. Since or since? Since. 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 6 a.m. Excellent. Very good. So, like somebody, Adriana. Um, quiero ver. Uh, Fabiola. Fabiola. Number I, four. four is, um, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Oh my God, too bad. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. You have to party sometimes. <laughs> Select somebody, Fabiola. Well, um, Aileen? Aileen? Aileen, Aileen. Aileen, number five. Aileen, number five. George lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. For two years as a kid. Perfect. Awesome. <clears throat> Select somebody, Aileen, number six. Um, Diana? Diana. My parents have, have been on vacation since Monday. Since Monday. Perfect. Select somebody, Diana. <clears throat> Dina Contreras. Dina Contreras. Number? Number seven. 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 Natalie was engaged. Engaged. Engaged to Danny Engaged. for six months. For six months. months. Perfect. <clears throat> number. Select somebody. Number eight. Um. Uh, Carla. Carla. <clears throat> Me? Carla. Carla Esquina. Okay. Uh, Pat and Valeria have been best friend, friends since high school. Excellent. Since high school. Perfect. Carla, select somebody. Um, Susie. Susie, continue. Susie, continue. Okay, Susie is absent. Select somebody else. Me, teacher. Yes. 
We have been in class since 5.30 p.m. P.m. Perfect. PM. Select mm -hmm. somebody. Number 10. Luis. Luis, number 10. The babies have cried. Cried. For. Cry. Cried. Como ah. Cried. Cry. Cried. Cry. Everybody the repeat. Baby. Cried. Cry. Cried. Cry. Everybody, everybody Cry. repeat. Cried. Cry. 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 The babies have cried for 30 minutes. 30, 30. 30, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Excellent. 30 minutes. Awesome. Perfect. Very good. Any questions related to this activity? Do you have any questions related to this activity? Any questions related to no, this activity? So. No questions. Okay, no let's question. continue. Now we are going to go ahead and move forward. 5.13. In this session, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and sounds in verbs with the word vowels that follow. Listen, please. We will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. All right, everybody listen and repeat. Have you, Have you, have you cooked lunch yet? Cooked lunch, 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 lunch yet. yet. Yes. 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 I've already cooked it. I've, I've already cooked it. it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Have you Have ever, you tried, ever tried, tried Cuban food? food? Cuban food? Yes. 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 I tried it once in Miami. I tried, tried it once, once, once in Miami. Once in Miami. Perfect. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Cooked it. Tried it. Tried it. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now I want you to... All right. Please continue working on the platform and I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye, teachers. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Bye.